In order to check the compression within the lowest uh, structural elements, we'll have to select the lowest elements and isolate them. And now uh, we are going to save results. Select these bottom elements and go to 3D stress from the envelope of uh, combinations. We'll say type of selection current and we're interested in sigma x. Sigma x is the tension along the x of the element. It can apply both for 1D and for 2D elements. And we can also see here the form structure and we'll say refresh. So for the concrete C35, we have to assess the compression uh, capacity. So, uh, uh, so this will have an FCD, which is the design concrete. Anyways, so it will say 35. The so we are going to check with the FCD, which is the characteristic, the design resistance of the concrete. So it's 35 divided by 1.5, which is a safety factor. So this will be 35 divided by 1.5. So this is basically uh, the capacity. Hello, uh, yes. I have one question. Uh, yes. Check uh, the, at the moment, we just uh, check the seismic or the placement plan. The reinforcement does not influence the compressive capacity. So the compression is undertaken solely by the concrete. So this is why I uh, won't take in consideration the reinforcement when doing this simplified uh, check. So what I'm doing now is yeah. I'm looking at the bottom at elements of how compressed they are. I see the, uh, the all the vertical elements are somehow rotated because uh, this is evaluated from a combination that also contains wind. So uh, in order to see where I get, let's say, where, where I exceed this estimated value, design value for the concrete, I can limit here the results. I'll go to drawing to the setup and I'll say minimum maximum settings, user defined values. And I'm interested in seeing where I have minus 23.3. So this is a limit I accept and I want to have it colored in this matter. So whatever I have more than this, I should be able to see it. And what I can see in this model is that we have some tensions in elements. So some of uh, these uh, walls are actually pulled. So they are pulled by the building. They are not compressed. So compression as sign is minus so it has to have the colors uh, starting orange till the blue so orange to blue it means compression while red means tension so i see there are some tensions within the let's say the web of the walls but the edges are fixed so edges are still compressed what i can see for instance is this element in this element on the extremities uh, there's a chance that the capacity is uh, let's say it's it exceeds the limits so i can do another check for this element so the only element with problems i see of course in this area there's little compression and there's some tension within the wall web however in this element i have the greatest compression i can isolate only this element 
to evaluate. And here I see that on the edge there can be some big compression. However, I don't want to make yet a decision whether to change the size of this element or not. I believe it's quite big. It's 1200 by 1200 millimeters. So I'll do another simplified check. So the simplified check will be the following. I select this element. I'll say current axial force. And I'll say, I'll open it, I'll open MATLAB, it, MATCAD, it's uh, easier. So I'll pick up this value of 25,776 kN, so I'll say 25,776 kN okay. divided by the size of your column. Okay, and also divided by the compressive strength, which is, you said, uh, and I'm going to test this, you used C3545, which has the results of, it has the compression strength of 35 megapascals divided by 1.7, which is a safety factor. So see, in this situation, I... I use the axial force, which I divide by the area and the compressive strength, and I get 76%. Actually, I can use the other way around. It's okay. Uh, no, it's not okay. It's the other way around. So this is the capacity. So this is the force that our column can withstand. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. You're right. It's okay. Yes, it's okay, because uh, it's uh, mm, less than one. So this is the effective, it's actually the NED, divided by RED, which in this case is lower than one. So if it's lower than one, it's perfect. So it's only 76% compressed. So basically we can also keep this. So this was just a fast verification of the columns to make sure that they are not crushed. And uh, from my point of view, uh, the concrete is good. So uh, we can go later to evaluate the reinforcement. So the concrete can withstand this much compression. I believe you did some testing before or you did some checks. How did you get to these dimensions? Yes. Okay. So you did some dimensioning, right, for this model to get these uh, yes. sizes. Okay, so you did a good job. Uh, they uh, they are suitable as sections, so there will, uh, I uh, believe there won't be need to change the concrete. At